What is going on guys? It is your good buddy Rudabega here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of baby steps when reaching your goals. So, this is what I mean by baby steps. When you've got a goal, you, you know, you have what you want to accomplish and then you start taking steps to get there. But the problem is is we live in a time where people want things immediately. They want instant gratification. They want to have things now, not later. Best example of that is credit cards. Look at a credit card. You don't actually have that money, but you're able to get something for money you might earn later, but you're able to get it right now. And people insist on getting it right now. And then they get in trouble because they have money that they, you know, they couldn't afford to buy this thing and now they don't have money to pay for it and then they go into debt and it's a never-ending cycle. Well, when it comes to when it comes to goals, people want instant, instant gratification as well. They're not willing to put in the actual work it takes to get somewhere. You know, people look at all this you look at all the su successful Call of Duty players out there and people always say, you know, I want to be a top player. I want to be like I want to be like Nade Shaw. I want to be like Krim, but they're never willing to put in the time. And uh, you know, that's where that's where it comes to baby steps. If you truly want something, you're never going to stop. You're never going to quit. You're always going to be working towards that goal. And the problem is, you know, you're going to want to make those leaps and bounds and those jumps. And sometimes you will. But what happens when you make too many leaps and bounds and sprints at your goal? You get worn out. You get exhausted. You get tired. You've got to tone it down. And then you rest. Then you rest for too long. You take a break from it for too long. You tell yourself you just need time off. And then you don't come back to it. And then eventually when you do come back to it, you're so out of practice, you're back to square one. So I just want to give you guys some advice. When it comes to goals, you always have to be making baby steps. If you're not making baby steps, at least you're basically moving backwards. You're falling back down the hill, back down the ladder. So it doesn't always have to be a leap and a bound in your progress, but you've got to make sure every day you're a little bit better than you were yesterday. It doesn't have to be amazing. You don't have to make huge advancements all the time. You will have those days where you're just going to make huge advances. You're going to you're going to have really good you know, really good points where you're just making all these extreme jumps and you're just reaching huge steps towards your goal. That's going to happen, but the important part is you don't take a day off. You've got to make baby steps. There's got to be always one little thing that you're doing. And maybe maybe it's not specifically a goal, because depending on your goal, maybe you will have, you know, one or two days off. Maybe you don't have a choice. Maybe you're on a vacation. That's understandable. But just in general, in real life, baby steps. You always want to be growing. You always want to be learning. Just as a person, you always want to be growing, learning, and moving forward in your life. You know, it's this is something I learned, I think, I think it was about the time I moved to Virginia, and um, this is one of the lessons I feel like I learned there is, if you're not moving forward, you're pretty much moving backwards. You've got to be, you've got to be moving forward with your life. You've got to be growing as a person. It doesn't matter if, it doesn't matter what you may aspire to be doing, but you've got to make sure you're growing as a person. Your only goal for the day shouldn't be to be better than someone else. For example, if you're a Call of Duty player, your goal shouldn't be better. Shouldn't be to be better than Crim Six. Like, you shouldn't have the goal. Well, I'm gonna be better than Crim Six. Yeah, that's a really great long-term goal. But more so than that, you've got to say today I'm gonna be better than I was yesterday. Today I'm gonna be smarter than I was yesterday. I'm gonna learn something new. I'm gonna acquire a new skill. I'm gonna get better at something in my life. Because if you approach every day as simply trying to get better than you were yesterday, just taking baby steps, never stopping, no matter what that baby step is, whether it's a step in uh, something in your life or something in Call of Duty or something in a completely different area of your life, you've got to be making baby steps and moving forward. As long as you're making those baby steps, you're going to get there eventually. In fact, I learned this lesson from one of my coaches in high school because as a football team, we would all hike Table Rock every year. And, you know... A lot of us would, would, you know, trek it up so far, you know, we'd trek it up for 5, 10, 15 minutes, and then we'd take a break. And then trek it up 5, 10, 15 minutes, and take a break. But Coach Johnson, that's who it was, it was Coach Johnson. Didn't like him as a person, liked him as a coach, and he, he just took little steps. He had a little, his little walking stick, and he never stopped. I don't think he stopped maybe three, four times the whole way up the, up the mountain. He would, but he, he didn't go fast. We would pass him. We'd get ahead of him. But for some reason, he was never that far behind us. Why? Because he might not have been making big steps, but he never stopped, and he was just taking little steps, just pacing himself little steps all the way up. And I, I don't know why, but I took a lot out of that, and uh, it just made me realize, you know, you got to be taking baby steps. You, you can't take too much time off. You can't rest too long. Even if it's something little, you've got to be moving forward. So uh, hopefully you guys will be able to apply that to whatever aspect of your life you need to. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just a little piece of advice, a little, 
little advice from Rutabaga, something I'd like to, something I just wanted to share with you guys, something that's always helped me in my life. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please leave a like and a comment. Most of all, comment. Let me know what your goals are, what you're working on. And don't get frustrated, guys. It's going to take time. Have patience. It's going to take time to reach your goals. You don't have to be better than everyone around you. You just have to be better than you were yesterday. The time that goes by is going to pass anyways. Whether you make leaps and bounds or don't do anything at all, the time is going to pass anyways. So make sure that if that time is going to pass, you're at least making the baby steps forward to reach where you want to be. Yeah, that's about all I have to say, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.